headed to the Forgotten Temple. It's deep in the jungle here. Oh wow, look at this. There was a giant spider in the entrance, huge. And there's a bunch of bats right here. Are we there yet? Palenque is one of the most well-known Maya ruin sites in all the world. It's visited by thousands of people each year because of its uniqueness, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Maya people flourished in the jungle for over 700 years, creating a grand city with advanced architecture and artistry. They fought wars, observed and mapped the movements of the sun and stars, and built massive monuments and temples. Palenque has some of the finest examples of Maya architecture and sculpture ever found, and was home to one of the longest reigning monarchs in all of history, Akal the Great. Half the adventure of Palenque is in just getting there. It's located in the northern corner of the Mexican state of Chiapas, near the Usamacinta River, a hotbed for Maya civilization during the classic period. The ruins are fairly distant from any major city, and the road to get there can be hazardous. Driving from San Cristobal takes about five hours. We chose to break up the trip and stay the night in the city of Ocosingo at a cool hacienda turned hotel. Ocosingo itself is a fun place to visit and has a great downtown. It's also the jumping off point for the ruins of Tonina, which are amazing. If you decide to drive to Palenque, we suggest leaving early and bringing some cash with you. The road is notorious for illegal roadblocks. All right, we finally are here and we're finally going. We're gonna walk into the jungle first. So Palenque has tons of ruins, but the majority of them are still covered by jungle. And so we're gonna walk into the jungle and maybe see some of these less known ruins. And then we'll go to the main stuff in a little bit. Should be fun. Okay guys, into the jungle, going into the jungle. Oh, see, look at that. You can see the ruins. Palenque's modern name comes from the nearby town, which was called Santo Domingo de Palenque by the Spanish. Palenque's ancient name, however, was Lacama, which means place of great waters. Perhaps this name was given because of the many natural springs in the area and the complex system of aqueducts that run through the city. These aqueducts may have fed fountains, baths, and saunas anciently. Today, some of these waterways are still running and fill ancient stone pools deep in the jungle. So he's showing us the ancient aqueducts right now where the water came underneath and would fill up this pool here. Look at this. Oh, that water feels good. Aquí se entra? Ahí? Acá? Apparently there's a tunnel that you can walk through. So we're going to walk through the tunnel. I love this stuff. It's so cool. I love the jungle. It's hot and sticky and muddy, but I could spend all day here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. That's where the aqueduct comes out. That's amazing. <laughs> Wow. All right, we're gonna go through the aqueduct tunnel. Our guide says everyone does it. This is kind of scary because there's a giant spider in the beginning of it. Let's see if I can get him on film. That spider is massive. The spider is 
about the size of my palm. You can't tell on film. All right, we're gonna go through the tunnel here. All right, I'm climbing through the ancient aqueduct here. This is a little bit freaky, but... <laughs> and there's a bunch of bats right here. Oh, there's the bats. There are bats hanging from the ceiling in there. And they came off and flew at my face. And I screamed like a girl. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit scary. Wait, like that was kind of awesome though. You? Woo! Wait, Crawling through the aqueducts. Yeah, that last bat flew off towards me. Come on guys, let's go. That was awesome. Ball. We're in the jungle, headed to the Forgotten Temple. It's deep in the jungle here. Oh, wow, look at this. This is awesome. So cool. So this temple, you can see the, the three pillars here used to have figures on them. You can see just the feet. See right there? Right here, those are the feet. One of the craziest things about Palenque and many of the ruins that are discovered is for everything that you see and that's uncovered, there's like tons more that's not covered. He said these ruins are like 2% uncovered, which is crazy. You're walking through the jungle and you just see these mounds and they were buildings. Cuidado. All right, we're heading in to the main temple complex. Of all the things that set Palenque apart as unique, its architecture is perhaps one of the biggest. The structures of Palenque utilized corbelled roofs, supposedly for the first time in all of Maya architecture. This allowed their interior spaces to be larger and improved the stability of their constructions. The central palace of Palenque is a unique structure to find in a Maya ruin site and is one of the most complex structures known in Maya archeology. span Its central four-story tower is the most notable feature and was supposedly used as an astronomical observatory. In the days of the Maya, these structures would have been painted in bright hues with stucco plastered walls. In a few locations, one can still observe some of the original stucco color. This is the Temple of the Red Queen. We're gonna go up and go inside. Most of the ruins at Palenque can be openly explored, except the ones that are very steep. There's definitely something thrilling about going in an ancient Maya tomb, or walking the halls of the ancient palace, where the nobles of this civilization once walked. So our guide said that through all these temples, there has to be passageways underneath, but they haven't discovered any yet. Um, but that's pretty cool. There's probably undiscovered passageways in these temples. Pretty awesome. All right, we're going out now. No, you can't go in there. It says don't go in. If you go in there, the mummies will eat you. Come on. You go in there. We know a great deal about the history of Palenque and about the Maya people because of the writings that were left on the walls of Palenque's most prominent pyramid, called the Temple of Inscriptions. On the walls of this temple are the second longest glyphic texts known in the Maya world. The inscriptions record over 180 years of the history of the city. The Temple of Inscriptions is a remarkable building not just for the history it records, but also for what was found inside. In 1948, Mexican archeologist Alberto Luyer found a passageway in the temple by removing a panel in the floor. 
Inside was a long stairway descending down into the darkness. At the bottom, archaeologists were stunned to find a tomb with a massive, intricately carved stone sarcophagus. Inside, arrayed in an intricate mask and jade jewelry, was none other than Pakal the Great himself, the greatest ruler of Palenque and the fifth longest reigning monarch known in all of history. The finding of Pakal's tomb was a monumental discovery, not only for the incredible artifacts preserved in it, but it was also the first evidence ever that Maya temples were also used as funerary monuments, just like the pyramids in ancient Egypt. Pakal was a big deal in his day and began his rule at the age of 12. He reigned for 68 years, creating a legacy of prosperity, which continued with his sons and grandson, making Palenque one of the greatest Maya civilizations to ever exist. This time of prosperity unfortunately was brought to an abrupt end in the year 711, when the city was attacked by Tony Na and its rulers were captured and taken away. Though Palenque continued as an active city for many more generations, it never regained its once great status. Like most other great cities in the Maya Classic period, it was eventually abandoned and disappeared into the jungle. All right, well, I think we're done with our tour. We're gonna head back to the uh, hotel and do some swimming, because we are sticky and hot. That was pretty fun though. All right, more adventures in the jungle to come. We've got two more ruin sites that we're going to this next week. It should be pretty awesome. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you wanna join us on our million adventures, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you along. All right, we'll see you later. Are we there yet?